I'm challenging myself to give you a very basic intro to the Bible in five minutes or less. Let's see if I can do it. Did you know that the Bible has been the number one best-selling book since September 21st, 1522? That means for over 500 years, the Bible has been topping the best-selling list. How amazing is that? Hi, I'm Pastor Trisha, and today I want to take some time and break this book down. Where did the Bible come from? How did we get it? Who wrote it? And how is it put together? We're going to start off that basic so that we can dive into God's Word together and learn how to break it down and study it so we can take God's truths and apply them to our lives. Take a quick moment, hit subscribe so you can be sure to get the next video in the series when it comes out. So, often today people look at the Bible and they see it as something that is irrelevant. It doesn't apply to them. But guys, that can be further from the truth. The Bible is God's Word. It's His inerrant, infallible Word. That means that there's no errors in it and it does not fail. It is true and it is faithful and we can count on it. But we don't see that. You know something else about God's Word? It's living. It's a living word. What does that mean? It means that his word is relevant to us today. I've read through the Bible several times, and every time I do, the most amazing thing happens. Each time I read God's word, I find something I've not seen before. I get some new truth, something that applies to my life, right then and there in that moment. Have you ever been walking through something, and somebody's come up to you and just said, hey, go read this verse, and you're like, okay, whatever. But something prompts you, you go read the verse, and then you're like, wow, God wrote that just for me. That's what it means when it says it's a living word. It applies to you and me today. So, how did we get the Bible? The Bible was inspired by God. It's called, we say it's God-breathed in Christian circles, and that means that He inspired people to write it. There are actually 40 men who wrote the Bible over a time period of 1,500 years, living on three different continents and writing in three different languages, yet we have a unified message that tells us about the life of Jesus Christ. You find it pointed to in the Old Testament, the first part of the Bible, and you see it fulfilled in the New Testament and even now as we anticipate Christ's return. So. I gave that away, right? The Bible's broken down into two major sections. You have the Old Testament, which is made up of 39 books, and then you have the New Testament, which is made up of 27 books. Together, we get the entire 66 books of the Bible. In a later video, I'll break that down even more for you, so make sure you subscribe so you'll be able to get that video and see how the Bible breaks down even further so that you can study it more clearly. But the Bible is also broken down into not just 66 books, but each of those books has chapters and verses. That can seem very confusing. And if you don't know the Bible, it can seem very overwhelming. So, Pastor Trisha, how do I find anything in a book like that? Okay, so you're gonna get your Bible, and you're gonna open it up. Somewhere in the front, you're going to find a table of contents. This table of contents has the books listed that are in the Old Testament, and in the New Testament. So if I said, I want you to go look at John 3.16, you could go to your Bible, and in my Bible, John is on page 1529. I could then turn over to John 1529, or to John, page 1529, sorry there, guys. Um, and then when you get there, you will notice that there are big numbers along the way. So that's a three I happen to open to the right spot. And then you can scroll down and find verse 16 and read it. That verse says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So it is that simple to study God's Word. And I want to give you a tip. If you've not gotten into reading God's Word, start in the book of John. Go to John chapter 1 and read a chapter or less a day. And then you will be able to read through and find out about Jesus' life and find out what he wants to do in your life. It's a great place to start. So, wrapping it up, we have one book that has 66 books in it that are broken down into chapters and verses in an Old Testament and a New Testament. Make sure 
you hit subscribe, you like, and you share. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to know so we can, can continue to grow together as we study God's Word.